my name is Brenda. I'm a USA student nurse, and I want to do your cardiac assessment today. How are you doing? Very good. All righty. So I'm gonna wash my hands, and I'm gonna, uh, if I can, I'm gonna ask you to remove your shirt. Right, you, want to take your shirt <laughs> you can leave it on if you really want to, but in real life, I'm gonna ask you to remove your shirt. All right. Well, you can put it down there and make you a pillow on top of my sweater. And I'm gonna have you lie down with your head up there. Because I need to stand on the right side of your body. All righty. Sorry, we need some a more comfortable table. <laughs> okay, sorry. Now in the in the SP room, don't forget to pull the thing out so their feet, you know, have a place to go. Okay. So I'm going to start with inspection. So I'm going to look at the precordium. And I'm looking for the apical impulse, which is at the fourth or fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line to the left of the sternal border, and I do not see it. I'm also going to look for any lifts and heaves caused by forceful ventricular contraction, and I don't see those either. I do see a tattoo. I'm going to state at this point that I would check for the heart rate, should, the normal heart rate should be 60 to 100 and I would check to see whether it was regular or irregular. I would also state that the apex of the heart is found at the fourth or fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line to the left of the sternal border. Sometimes it can be a little medial. And I would also state that the base of the heart is found at the second intercostal space, just to the right and left of the sternum. So that's my inspection. I'm now going to palpate. I'm going to palpate for the apical impulse, which again is at the fourth or fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line, left sternal border, left of the sternal border. So I'm going to take the pad of one finger, and I'm going to see if I can feel it. Can you take a breath and exhale and hold it, please? Now I'm going to have you turn just a little bit to your left because I couldn't palpate it. You don't have to go all the way over. And take a breath and exhale and hold it. Okay, I'm going to have you breathe. I'm going to have you roll back. Now, I did not palpate the apical impulse. Now I'm going to move to auscultation. So I'm going to be listening to for the heart sounds in the auscultory areas. The four auscultory areas are the aortic, which is found at the second intercostal space to the right of the sternal border, and the pulmonic, which is found at the second intercostal space to the left of the sternal border, the tricuspid, which is found at the fourth or fifth intercostal space to the left of the sternal border, and the mitral, which is found at the fourth or fifth, interco uh, fourth or fifth intercostal space to the left of the sternal border at the midclavicular line. So now, you can just continue to breathe normally. I'm going to listen with both my bell and my diaphragm. I escalated S1, S2 were clear. There were no heart, extra heart sounds or murmurs. Now I'm going to state the uh, auscultory relationship between S1 and S2. S1 represents the love and S2 represents the dove. S1 is the beginning of systole. S2 is the beginning of diastole. S1 is heard best at the apex. S2 is heard best at the base. S1 is the closure of the AV valve, which is the mitral and tricuspid valve and S2 is the closure of the semilunar valves, which are the aortic and pulmonic valves. Okay, so that's that. I'm now going to check for a pulse deficit. And I'm gonna do this by placing my stethoscope on your chest, and I'm also gonna palpate your carotid arteries. 
and you can just breathe normally. So I was comparing the, the rate at both locations and they were equal, so there's no pulse deficit. I'm now going to listen for carotid buoys with my bell. Uh, so what I'm going to have you do is turn your head towards them and then I'm going to have you take just a normal breath and exhale and hold it. Okay, you can breathe. You breathing? Okay, you can now turn towards me. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. So just take a breath, exhale, and hold it. Okay, all right, you can breathe. All right, no carotid breeze, no. That's good. All right, so now I'm going to palpate your pulse. First, I'm going to start with a carotid again. You can just do your head straight. So I wouldn't want to do these bilaterally. Okay. Now I'm going to straighten out your arms. I'm going to feel for your brachial. There you go. Now, now I'm going to feel for your radial. Okay, and I, for the sake of the checkoff, we're not going to palpate the femoral artery, but I'm going to state that the femoral artery is found uh, below the inguinal ligament, and it is between the pubis and the anterior superior iliac spine. So it's in that area. And we're going to go down here. May I remove your socks, please? You didn't want me to wear any clothes at all. <laughs> all righty. Now I'm going to feel for his dorsalis pedis pulses and the posterior chest. Okay, so I felt for, palpated for all of those pulses that I named and they were two plus and equal bilaterally. Now I'm going to, while I'm down here, I'm going to check for edema. I don't see any edema. I'm going to put his socks on later. Now I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to get your hand. I'm going to say it's about the level of the heart here. I'm going to check for capillary refill. It's uh, less than three, it's quick. And uh, there's no, it's pink, no cyanosis. And the nail bed is, con the nail is convex. And now if I could have you do this for me. Yeah, there's a teeny weeny little diamond there. So that means that the uh, there is no clubbing and that, um, <coughs> yeah, there's a, that means it's 160 degrees, no clubbing. So I'm gonna step back for a minute. I inspected, I palpated, I auscultated. I did the pulse deficit, the carotid breweries. All the pulses, I checked for edema and I checked the hand for color and all that. So that concludes my cardiovascular assessment.